Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do the inverse loop in Roblox Studio. And so uh, I haven't made like uh, scripting tutorials for like one year. And so and then I made uh, so I made a poll that um, should I create uh, scripting tutorials again. Uh, and then all, uh, most of you responded yes so yeah i decided to make a scripting tutorial again so yeah in this video i'm going to teach you how to do the in purse loop all right so first we're going to insert a part here so we have our own part then we'll create another one Okay, so we have two parts right now. I'm going to rename the second part into part two. I'm going to name this other part into part one. Okay, so let's create a script right now. So we're going to create a script in server script service because uh, server script service is where you store uh, all of the scripts okay okay so we have to select the server script service and then you will see a plus button here near it now press that then you will see this you'll see this uh you can press this button right here toggle expanded view so you can see everything and then you can press script i'm just going to keep it like this and then i'm going to press script then your script will be inserted all right now we, we have this, delete the print alert world, then we're going to create our own variable. We're, we're going to create a variable of part 1 and part 2. Uh, I'm going to name this variable into parts. Okay, so uh, add this, open bracket and close bracket. Then type game dot workspace dot part one so basically we type this because we're uh type we're going to make a variable of part one and part two and then part one is in the workspace and then so yeah that's why we type game dot workspace dot part one okay now add a comma now game dot workspace dot part two okay we are we have two parts now in the in, in one variable now we have to do is a type for yeah like that i comma v in purse okay okay make sure we have uh, open parenthesis and then close parenthesis and then inside of it we're going to put parts it parts is our variable and then inside of a variable of parts we, we have two parts the part one and part two now type do then go enter so as you can see we have the word and when we when we entered it's because this is the uh, this is the part of the script uh, this is the part of the script do not do not delete this because it will cause errors if you delete it all right so all we are gonna do is type v so if you're wondering what's v uh, this one uh, it's basically the parts Okay, okay. So V dot transparency uh, 0 0.6. So we're going to make two of these uh, two of these parts into transparency uh, transparency to 0 0.6. So if we did that, both of them are 0 0.6 transparency without doing long scripts. This might uh, save your time by doing the in-person loop. Uh, so
So you now you know what is V. V is V is the part. Okay, now we're going to learn what is the I in 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 first loop. So it's like this. So print I. So basically, what this means is going to print all provided values to output. It's going to print. Uh, it's going to print how many uh, parts of it in the uh, variable called parts. Okay, okay. If you click run, you will see the output. It says one and two. It, it's because we have two parts here, and that that's how it works. Uh, maybe uh, let's try this. V and chroma I. Let's try that. Uh, it says part one, number one. Part two, number two. You see how amazing is that? Uh, uh, so if you're wondering uh, how to open the output here, all you have to do is press view and then go here on output and then you will see the output. Uh, and then uh, if we uh, if we add another part right here, uh, let's dupli duplicate this. Then we'll name this to part three. Uh, you can name your parts whatever you want as long they are not the same name. I'm na I named these part 1, part 2, and part 3. So, let's go back to our variable called parts. Then, type game.workspace.part3. Okay, okay. So, if we did that, uh, three, of them will, the tr three of them, the transparency will be 0.6. And then if we check out the output, it, it look at this, part 1, number 1, part 2, number 2, part 3, number 3. If the number 3 and part 3 was invert earlier, and wonder why? It's because the, le uh, the letter I here in, in purse loop uh, is, uh, is going to print how many, how many things are there in one variable. It's because right here in the open parenthesis and close parenthesis we type parts and and then this is the variable and inside of it there's like three of them there are three parts part one part two part three and that that's why uh it type one two three when we try to do this look when i press run it says one two and three uh, and yeah and that's it for the video guys uh, i hope you learned something from me today and be sure to like and subscribe for more videos bye guys see you in the next video